Hi everyone, in this video we have to find the inverse Laplace of this expression. So because we have a number up top and we have an s squared plus a number, it's very likely we're going to use the formula that leads us to the sine function. So recall that the inverse Laplace of k over s squared plus k squared, that's simply equal to sine kt. If you have an s here, just remember cosine has the s and that gives you cosine. So if you had an s here, you'd get cosine. But because we have a number, we're going to get sine. So we're almost there in this problem. If you look here, you have the 24. That's got to be the k squared. So the trick is, the trick is to rewrite the 24 in a way that it matches k squared. So it's s squared plus, well I'm just thinking square root of 24 squared. Because if you square the square root of 24, you're going to get 24. So then we need to have a k up here also. That's the thing, see? So what we do is we can just put it there because we can do whatever we want uh, as long as we make it better. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to put it there. And then the 6, you can pull it out. And then to get rid of this square root of 24, I'm going to put it here. Boom, there it is. So again, we decided to just rewrite the 24 as the square root of 24 squared. We put this here, but when we put it here, we got to take it away. You see they cancel. And the 6 just came out. So all of this here is going to give us a sine function. So this is 6 over the square root of 24 sine of kt. But k is the square root of 24. So it's the square root of 24 times t. And let's just go ahead and leave our answer like that. You could probably reduce the square to 24 and simplify a little bit, but let's just leave it. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is working on inverse Laplace transforms. Take care.